Welcome to Country Conversations. I'm Randy Owen with Country 107.3 in Tilsonburg. And here we are downtown Tilsonburg. And the idea behind the show is to let you come inside the studio when we do live interviews with artists who drop by for a visit and some live conversation. So come on into the studio with me as we get into some more Country Conversations. New Country, Classic Country, Country 107.3, live in the studio. Take it away, my friend, Eric Etheridge. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Thank you for having me in. Hey, I love it. It sounded here. pretty awesome. Uh, Thanks, the buddy. album, by the way, sounds great. Thank you. Uh, Thank you and, so much. Um, you got to be all excited. Look like finally, now it's out. Finally, man. Two years. <laughs> two years in the making. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a, a lot of uh, it's been a roller coaster, but so glad to have it out. And the, the feedback on it's been been awesome. So um, was it something like three million there were three and a half million streams uh, two and a half right now i think we're, we're getting to close to three million yeah we're two just over two and a half million streams and right just now. in the first couple of weeks when it came out yeah it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> i can't i can't believe it it's nuts but uh you know the people that uh you know people have been sharing it and, and listening in and spotify and apple have been very supportive so i'm just just feeling very grateful right now so everything you dreamed of Yes, uh, yes and no. Like it's, it's, uh, it's exceeded all my expectations for sure. Um, I, I never, I also never expected how busy I would be once it released. I thought it was busy before <laughs> it got released. Now I'm, now it's, uh, you know, every, just taking it week by week right now. <laughs> now for, and for people who don't know, I mean, you are a chiropractor. Yes. You have your own practice. Yes. I still don't understand why they call it practice. I mean, obviously you know what you're doing by right. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. We're just guessing, really. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, so I, I do, I do still see patients, and uh, you know, the 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 goal is to be uh, like just 100 percent of my time to be devoted to music. Hopefully, within the next 12 months or so, that's the goal. But uh, so we'll you want you want to close down the practice? That's, yeah. I mean, I, I just want to focus all my energy yeah. on music. You know, so um, yeah, so we'll see. I mean, it may or may not happen. I don't know yet, but okay. uh, that's the goal. Well, good luck. Thank you. You deserve it. You Thank really you. do. Thank you. And I know a couple of weeks ago, uh, you heard yourself. I think on serious for the first. Time. Yeah, it was that song, man. For the first time, I, I they they started playing it on the horizon, and uh, it um, it's been that's been pretty surreal too. You know, it's kind of that's that's wildly exceeded my expectations as well. So, mm -hmm. you pull over the side of the road. Uh, yeah, I did, and then I cried in front of like 150,000 people. So uh. <laughs> <laughs> might be a little bit more since then. Yeah, now. yeah. No, that, that's that's so cool. And I've heard that story happen a lot of times when people hear themselves on the radio, usually for the first time or on something like serious. I mean, right. yeah, they pull over at the side of the road and, and you want to shout and scream to everybody, hey, that's me. And, yeah. and meanwhile, you're there and there's nobody else there. Yeah. Ah. It's kind of crazy. You know, it's, it's something that I'm glad I caught it on film because it was a moment that I'll never forget yeah. now, you know. And uh, it, um, yeah, it was a, like one of those, like, one of those, I guess, game-changing, life-changing moments uh, that you never really know is going to happen. But like, I'm so used to listening to the highway and and, and on the radio, and and that's the station that you know it's North American wide, and it's mostly American acts on there, right? Yeah. So to be an independent Canadian on there, yeah, is, is that's crazy. that's a big deal, mm -hmm. really big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, the other really big deal, uh, you've been so busy this summer, and I got to watch you perform twice now, Boot Hill Jamboree. Um, and Trackside. And Trackside, you came out and you crushed it. Thank you, man. Um, Thank you so much. You were dressed for the part. Yeah. S some might say overdressed. White, white on white on white, man. Yeah, yeah but yeah. you know what? It works. And, and I mean, it, it's, I mean, it made everybody stop and look and go, oh, wow, this is going to be different. Right. And good. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. So, um, obviously, that was all planned. Uh, and thank you, by the way, because um, out at Boot Hill, I got to hang out in your trailer. Um, and watch what you guys do before you go on stage. And a lot of people don't realize how much work is involved. And I know yeah. you guys kind of map out everything that you want to do and you want to achieve in your set. Yes, yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah, have you ever seen that before? Or? Uh, kind of, but not in that detail. Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, yeah. your brother, uh, Mike, who's, by the way, a great fiddle player. Yeah. Oh yeah, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, he he was he was great. Just kind of like telling, okay, here's what we need to accomplish. Here's what Eric needs to do. And you're yeah. going, yeah, okay, let's do it. And you guys executed it. Yeah flawlessly thank you so much it took it's it, you know it's it's one of the things that we we try to set ourselves apart with is our live show because the goal for the live show is I just want everyone to be involved engaged and have a, like leave the show being like that was awesome I had a great yeah. time and um, and so we, we put a lot of effort and focus on that and uh, the last year and a half has been really really cool I mean it's it's been it's been difficult at times for sure but now it's just getting really really fun you did know? you think it would be this much hard work uh, I, I don't know. I knew it would be hard work. I just, I guess you don't really know till you're in it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, uh, 
like like and I'm used to hard work at chiropractic school was really really hard it's just now it's a different kind of hard you know like it's a it's a works 24 7 almost you know type of thing for sure a lot of pressure on you because you are the star and it's all on you man yeah there, uh, some, there, sometimes there's you feel the pressure yeah, does that you hit know, you? It, it, when, when does that hit you <laughs> I think it's uh, you know I, I, I don't know I guess it does I mean when you sometimes when you're like about to go on stage in front of thousands of people you're kind of like man like I could say anything through this microphone <laughs> you know including all the wrong words right you know and uh, and everyone's gonna hear it yeah. um, but I, I guess my brain is, is so preoccupied on all the other things that uh, we're, we're doing right uh, you know so and and the key is like just trying to enjoy it like uh, as well like, I remind myself of that every day like it's you got to enjoy the journey mm -hmm. and the process too because it is a process over time like mm -hmm. it, it's and and you know just managing expectations and 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 making sure that like one thing that we're always going to do is is keep our heads down and just continually progress and move forward how can you know the show was like that trackside show was awesome but mm -hmm. I'm like we're like okay how can we make that better next time you wow. know what I mean like that's like that was cool but like and when are we gonna add pyro? You know. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> just let me know when, so I know exactly yes. where not to stand. Yes, exactly. In case yeah. that goes yeah, off. We'll give you a fireproof suit. Be, uh, yeah. yeah, I'll probably need one. Yeah. Uh, and Boot Hill, uh, the cool thing was having seen you at both uh, within a uh, little more than a month. Um, it was not the exact same show, which which really was kind of cool too. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. that well that's the one thing too is like you know we, we try to I, w I want to try and make shows uh, unique to like to, to each show as much as we can as well as making sure that we we you know make sure we get the crowd involved and we make sure the songs are played right and then it sounds good and that you know everything's connecting um, and ev but at the same time every show is a little bit different trying to cater it to who we're playing to you mm. know so pretty cool I'm glad mm -hmm. to, I'm glad to hear that because obviously you got you know the audience in mind the audience yeah. that you're playing that absolutely night. it's not about me it's about them so um, and and by the way thank you for being a good sport out at Boot Hill because uh, after your set I came out <laughs> you're famous you're famous for wearing the muscle shirts, and yeah. obviously, I mean, I had one, but but I don't have, <laughs> don't have the muscles to go with it. You, you wear the, the baseball caps. I came out and, and I, I just stood and kind of stared you down. And I said, "Dude, just follow me." We <laughs> we, we flexed, we we flexed, and I looked at and I looked at the crowd and I said, "It's like looking in a in a freaking mirror." <laughs> that, that was hilarious. You don't have to apologize. That was hilarious. Yeah, I was I was just not expecting that. I, I know. Was, I was like, "What are, what, what am I doing?" Yeah, and then I was like, "Oh, okay." It was that's great. that's it was great. why I need to apologize because mm -hmm. I did not spring it on you ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Did not give you any heads. Up. Yeah. I just went and played with it, and thanks for playing along with oh, it. Oh, man, no, it's great. I mean, really, the muscle shirts are just about, uh, it's just, I, I sweat a lot because I'm running around. <laughs> They're just great ventilation to yeah. me. Honest, you know? <laughs> I'm sure Kip Moore would say the same thing, right? So it's uh, it's really just function, you know? <laughs> ah, gotcha. You know? Gotcha. It's a workout. That set is a workout. Yeah, but yeah. you do. I mean, because yeah. you're all over. You're never in one spot more than two minutes. Yeah. Oh, for sure not. I yeah. mean, maybe maybe when you're doing a ballad, like when you had uh, one of the fans come up on stage yes. with you at Bootside or yeah. Bootside. I'm, I'm combining yeah. both yeah. shows, yeah. Trackside and Boot, Boot yeah. Hill. Yeah. Um, at Boot Hill, when you and, and sang to her, and I'm sure you made her day. Yeah, that was oh, that was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> she had no idea. I was, I was like, this girl over here is rocking out. You should get on stage. So she was like, oh, okay, sweet. So then uh, people were coming up after were like, hey, we were rocking out too. I was like, yeah, well, we can only get one, you know, like, next show. You have to go do another next show. Next show, yeah. And then we'll see. Yeah. Next time, next time. Uh, by the way, congrats on the album. Um, thank you. I bought a copy and I listened to it. Uh, oh, my God. Thank you times. so much, man. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, thank you, you. you're a friend, and I, I, I have no problem at all supporting friends. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. And, thank and, you so much. And having a, a, a taste of the first couple of singles, knowing what was going to be on here, I, I got to have this for my collection yeah. because it's, it's pretty awesome. Thank you, man. After a night out with your friends, not having a plan for a safe ride home can leave you in a bad spot. You could end up riding in a police car, an ambulance, or a hearse. These unplanned modes of transportation can be a costly choice and do not take you home. Your plan could include a designated driver, a taxi, or public transit. Drink responsibly, choose your ride, and have a plan for a safe ride home. Visit ArriveAlive.org to find out more. 
did you do that? I don't think he's gone. He's a mass murderer. Let's go. You don't get to make that call. I've been making that call since you know me. We all feel better once this is over. I think he's hypnotizing people somehow. More than you know. You don't seem to mind putting a bullet in someone. I don't shoot babies. Hey, welcome back. We've got a lot more with Eric Etheridge as we go back inside the studio for more Country Conversations. Was it easy, hard, putting all these songs together? Because I know some of them you wrote or co-wrote, mm -hmm. and there are some you didn't. Yes, there's... A and, there's and, and I know some guys uh, and, and some performers have an ego where i got to put everything on here that I did, that right. I wrote. But not you. No, no it, that's that's definitely not the philosophy I have. Like I'm, I, for me, it's the best song wins. Like uh, we, that we have, you know, and a, a lot of that comes down to my producer too. What he what he thinks he can he can turn into a hit. So right. every one of those songs is, I mean, at least when we're doing it, is intended like can this be a single coming up? You right. know. So right now, three out of those seven are a single. It's definitely that four four of if we get four out of those seven be radio singles, you know that that's that's our intention. Um, and and we, we have other stuff that's not even recorded yet that we want to release as well. So it's just continually, like my goal is over the long term to just continually have new music coming out and keeping people interested and in, in building that fan base. And yeah. was, it, was it tough coming up with just these songs? Because I know you probably had, like, like you were saying, mm -hmm. a whole bunch more to pick from. Uh, it, like it was, you know, it, it was tough. Um, also, like this whole, those seven songs were, were produced over the period of two years, yeah. right? So like we, we came out with, we did three first and then we did an, uh, Make Me Crazy and then I had one that was actually between me and you was, was done mm. two years ago in Nashville. <laughs> and uh, so that one sounded great and we knew people liked that song already and and, uh, and then it was just the, the finishing Met Me First and If I Had You with Kelsey Kulik uh, this, this past February, so. Um, she sings on that too, right? She does. Besides co-writing with you, she actually she's it was just me and her co-wrote co wrote up. Oh yeah, uh, and she's a she's a great guitar player. She's a great guitar player. She's a great vocalist, and she's a like an even better writer. It's crazy. Well, I don't know if I would say she's great at all of them. <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I don't know if she get mad at me for saying that or not. But, yeah, <laughs> but uh, she's super super. She's a super talent, and uh, I'm lucky to have her on the album. So. Yeah, great song too, by the mm -hmm. way. So Thank you might you. have to maybe five or six songs. <laughs> I, well, a lot of people are like like that's I, you know, some people are like that's their favorite song, and we ha you know so. Um, and, and there's a little bit more of a traditional spin on it, which is what mm -hmm. I wanted because I wanted the album to, to reach a, as broad of a, a range of people as possible. You know, some songs are more on the pop side, some are more on the rock side, some are more on the, the country side, right? Which is, which, is, uh, which is good. It's a good, I think it's a good foray introduction into my music, you know? Yeah, and then, I mean, where we go from here is gonna be interesting, I think. Yeah, totally. I, I mean, I already got plans, but uh, <laughs> I, you know, one thing, that, one thing that I've kind of realized in my music is that it, it I, I feel like it might keep people on their toes. They're kind of like not, especially with my producer Brian. Like, like he's always pushing boundaries. So probably whatever I do is going to be pushing boundaries. I don't think it's going to, you know, that's that's my game plan. Uh, and, cool. and and probably be unexpected to some degree. But uh, hey, whatever. It's all good as long as people <laughs> like it. You know, that's all that matters. It's great, man. It's yeah. great. Um I wanted to volunteer with Rogers because I felt like it was a really good way to gain that practical experience working with cameras. I got to get out into the community, do research on local events. Now I can call London my home because I've just gotten to know it so well through all these experiences. I would definitely, definitely suggest this opportunity to anybody who is able to. Hi, I'm Brenda Pierce. I'm the Empowered Nurse of Oxford Empowered. I triage body, mind, and spirit with my very special guests. Come join us on Rogers TV. Hi, I'm Susie. And I'm Sarah. We're the hosts to Happiness is Homemade. Coming to Rogers TV soon. Cheers. Cheers. To paddle a kayak effectively, you need to use your body efficiently. And the key is good posture. Sit up straight and relax your shoulders. Your torso will do most of the work. Your arms and shoulders are there to transmit the power to the paddle. Make sure that you have plenty of torso rotation and be careful not to bend your wrists to reduce the chance of straining them. Hi, I'm Randy Owen from Country 107.3 in Tilsonburg. 
We get the chance to talk to an awful lot of country artists who stop by to talk about their careers, their music, uh, their hopes, their dreams, uh, and their achievements as well. And we decided, you know what, we need to share this with the television audience as well. So welcome. From his debut EP, which I'm sure he had a hard time naming, uh, it's just named Eric Asperger. <laughs> I'm just joking. A lot of hours of thought on that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> California, great song. Every song out here is really good. I'm not saying it just because you're here. I'm saying it because I listened to the whole thing several times uh, to get a feel for it. And uh, yeah, great. I highly recommend it. People want to get it, they can get it where? You can get it um, right now on iTunes. Right. Uh, you can download it there and then or on Spotify and Apple Music and stuff like that. Pretty cool. uh, we are just working on getting the online store really up to date oh, right now. Oh, so. on, your, on your website? Yes. EricEthridge.com? Eric, you got it. Yep. Sweet, man. Yeah. i got to ask you a tough question. Yeah. But love, before I do... Love tough questions. All right. Weather forecast and another song live from Eric coming up in just a moment here at Country 107.3. Um, I've watched, uh, and listening to this, and, and we talked a little bit about the songwriting, uh, which you do very well. Oh, thank you. Um, the production on this sounds great. I mean, it's it's top notch for, an, for another. I've watched you perform live, and you, I mean, you're such a performer on stage, which is great. I thank mean, you. You, you're not just standing there doing your songs. You, you're there to entertain and put on a show. Absolutely. Um, th so here's the tough question. Yeah. Is there anything you don't do well <laughs> that you think you need work on? Oh, there's definitely, definitely things. Uh, you know, I've been told I'm a scatterbrain, so really? focus, focusing can be difficult for me. Oh. Uh, yeah. So that's one thing I, you know, I, uh, you know. I don't do super well. I find, uh, I find that hard to believe. Yeah. yeah, do you? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because I got so many balls I'm juggling right yeah, now. Yeah, that, and like, that's the thing a lot of people don't realize. And um, I kind of had a hint of it watching you um, at, at Boot Hill, um, all the stuff that you got to worry about. I mean, yeah. you got to make sure that you got the cues right for the band and stuff like that. Because, like I said, there's, there's certain parts of your show where you really go out there and entertain. Yeah. Towards the end, I mean, you were on drums, your yeah. drummer was playing the mic stand totally. up front, your brother was standing up playing fiddle yeah. with a fiddle behind his back while yeah. standing on the keyboards. Yeah. I mean, it was... It was just, just crazy. It's, it's chaos. <laughs> yeah. It's, which is awesome. Yeah. But it's organized it's chaos. Organized, controlled chaos. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. That's, <laughs> I, I, so I can understand why you could be scatterbrained yeah, when, you got, when you got so much to worry about. There's so, there's, you know, it can be, there's so much that go, can go wrong. Like, uh, for example, if I don't have the right mic stand, like this actually happened at Boot Hill, I didn't have the right mic clip on there and it changed everything about oh. my set because what happened was usually I can get the mic on and off the mic stand pretty easily that one I actually couldn't so I had to it, it, was, it was throwing me off every time I went back to the mic stand um, which is like just little things like that you don't consider right did uh, they uh, did they give you my mic no it was uh, it was the one that they, I think it was just the main mic but it was there's like the holder of the oh, mic, okay. which is different which I usually bring one with me right and we forgot to <laughs> Put that one on. One little thing. Yeah, one little. There's one little, one like little any thing. little thing like that, or you know, uh, it, it could be one little thing that could throw things off. So there's a lot to a lot to worry about for sure. Cool, man. Mm -hmm. um, so your dreams are coming true. I like I like oh, that. Thanks, I like man. that. It's, That's yeah. It's you know what? It's it's been really exciting and, and humbling, and and uh, I'm getting messages every day now. Of people just saying they love the album and love the songs, and and um, I I uh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What's been the biggest surprise so far? Have you, have you gotten like a message from somebody that you admire in the business who said, dude, keep it up, love your work, that sort of stuff? Yeah, yeah, really? I have, yeah. It was, uh, it was a friend of mine in the industry who's like well known and uh, he said, he's like, you know, hey, hey man, just wanted to let you know I bought the album and it's <gasps> it's world class and uh, keep doing what you're doing, you're on, you know, you're doing it, you're doing it right. And uh, it, it, it uh, that was very humbling and like also very, it was really cool to hear because these, these, some of these people like, they don't have to say those things. No. You know, they don't even have to buy the album or yeah. anything, you know, they don't have to support it at all. But, and uh, especially people in the music industry, right? They, they tend mm -hmm. to not be that way. So, so that uh, was super awesome to hear from him and, and um, yeah, it's exciting. You know what I mean? We're, we're very proud of what we've been working on for the last two years and, and we just can't wait to see. Now it's like, now I finally have something to, to, to show people. Right. And now I just want to play anywhere and everywhere. I just want to play everywhere. What you, you know? did, I'm sure you did a lot of when you were going uh, to Western. Yeah, I played a lot in London, a lot in London. Um, yep. Yeah, well, by yourself, mm -hmm. the one man thing, entertaining yep. people while they're having dinner in a bar somewhere. Yeah, exactly, that's where. Yeah, How yeah. do you not get disappointed when you realize that they're not there to see you, they're oh, there, to, they're there dude, to have dinner? That's not disappointing, that's what I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm, I'm more, it's more shocked that there are there. That people, when people are there to see me play, I'm shocked. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Keeping those, managing those expectations, right? But uh, now, and that's what, that's funny when that starts happening. You're like, mm -hmm. uh, Eric, we're we're here to see you play. I'm like, You're oh, <laughs> you are. Oh, 
wow, sweet, let's party. You so, know? so what did you learn from those days when you were doing the one man thing and playing in, in restaurants and bars and stuff mm. like that? Well, first of all, it's it's I think it's a whole ten thousand hours thing, right? Like, and I'm still I think I believe I'm still working on my next ten thousand hours, you know. Um, but but learning to master what what it is that you do. The other thing is, uh, I think Mick Jagger said one time, like I think you know it doesn't matter if there's a million people there or one person there, you need to entertain the hell out of that one person. Or you oh, know, yeah. people say he could entertain a bar stool, you know. <laughs> um, and that's the thing is like so it's never just like oh well there's only five people there. I'm like if there's only five people there, they're gonna have the time of their lives. Right. You know, I'm gonna do, like they're gonna be on stage playing with us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's that's kinda how I, I approach the situations, right? It doesn't matter if they're there to take time of their day to watch me play, that's huge. And we gotta take advantage of that to make sure they have a great time. So pretty cool. Lesson yeah. learned obviously from uh, what you did back then to what you're doing now. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. It's a lot of fun. It's fun in those situations too because I can kinda like Banter back and forth with people. I get to know. I get to know people that way too. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. What's your name? Where are you from? Cool. Blah, 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 blah. Like you know, what do you do? And then uh, I'll, I'll like reference them in songs and stuff. It's just funny. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. By the way, uh, when you grabbed the, uh, I shouldn't say grab, but when you invited the one girl up on stage to play with you, <laughs> um, you did the, the song Tequila, which Dan and Shay just recently had as a number one hit. Yeah. I saw the video you did uh, with Leah Daniels. Yes. Uh, shortly after that song came out, and you guys just nailed that one too. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Yeah, it was. Leah is such a great talent. She's got a great voice. She's a great performer. Um, and I've always wanted to do a song with her, and this came out, and and uh, we put that together in an afternoon. Wow, uh, it's crazy! Like the video recorded it all in an afternoon. <laughs> it was crazy uh, to the fact that we accomplished it like that, and it, it's like it just hit like 120,000 hits on YouTube. And oh man! For it's the biggest cover of that song on YouTube that we're aware of. And, wow! Yeah, so, which is really really cool, um, and. Yeah, so we're and, and the plan is like I, the, you know the next project is getting the album done, and then mm -hmm. the plan is now I'm going to probably be doing more stuff like that as well, as well as original material and just just constantly putting out stuff to keep kind of keep people interested, you know. So. Cool. Mm -hmm. They served to protect our homes. Now many are homeless. They fought for our way of life. Now many are fighting personal battles of their own. They answered the call for our country. Now we honor them by serving our communities. Help us help Canada's veterans. Become a Legion member today. The best part about being at Rogers is meeting all the different people, like from producers, other volunteers, and other people who just like work around here and other hosts are a lot of fun to be around. I would definitely recommend people to come volunteer at Rogers because I got a lot out of this experience. I met a lot of people I wouldn't have otherwise met and it got me into a program that I really enjoy at Fanshawe. Hey, you want to be friends? Looking to get the most out of your 4K TV experience? Yeah, I do. Then you need the Rogers 4K Movie Channel. What can I do for you, Rod? Show me the money. With dozens of awesome movie titles from your favorite genres. What? All in breathtaking 4K resolution. Surprise! People are living in fear. How do your weapons work? Hey, don't even worry about it. The Rogers 4K Movie Channel. Call 1-888-ROGERS-1 to order and take your 4K TV entertainment to the next level. I know there's going to be a lot of uh, pressure on you uh, for your time and stuff like that. Um, you've got a gig coming up in Belmont on the 25th. I do, yes. Uh, fundraiser for yes. a boxer by the name of Tyler Warren. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so you're going to be out there to, to help this young guy. Who yeah, if you guys are in the area, make sure you come out to that on yeah. the 25th in Fighting Belmont. Fighting cancer? And you, uh, I'm trying to remember where in Belmont it is. I, uh, <laughs> I have to check the poster. Oh, we'll check. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll check. So it's all, it'll be on my social media and stuff, too. So how did you get involved with that? They actually just reached <clears> out to us. And, and, nice. and Yeah, and uh, you know when I we heard the story, we were like, absolutely, we'll be a part of it. You know, we try to we try to do shows like that. We're doing another one in Sarnia um, in February as well for Rebound there, which is like a a center for youth in Sarnia. So we're going to do a, a show to 
get people out and raise money for that. And uh, yeah, we like we also work with other charities as well too. So there's, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an ambassador for March of Dimes. Good for Canada. you. Yeah, and uh, so we're working on a big show uh, for that as well to raise money for that and help build a, a home for people with high medical needs in Sarnia. So yeah. do you feel? I don't want to use the word, but do you feel lucky that you're able to use your talents to help people in situations where, where perhaps someone like Tyler, I know, um, is facing a life-threatening situation yeah. with the brain cancer that he's yeah. got? Yeah. Um, how, do you, how do you feel about that, that, that your talents are being, I don't want to say used, but, but, but helping people? That's actually, I feel great about it because that's the reason I do it. Yeah. You know, that's the whole reason I do music is like, like, like part of my mission statement is I want to connect with people through music and influence positive change, right? So, so the whole purpose of this is like, yes, I love performing, I love singing for people, but the goal, like the end game is to, how can I use this for good? You know what I mean? So if it means right now, it just means like if it can mean raising money for a cause, that's fantastic. But like I'm, I'm kind of thinking, you know, once I have an even broader platform, how can I use this for even more? Maybe it's starting my own organization, right. and and you know, I'm still kind of figuring. Okay, what's the best way to do this? Uh, so we're doing what we can right now, but the like my plans down the road is to only step it up like tenfold. You know, to do that. So good, mm -hmm. good yeah. for you. Good, yeah, good on you. Yeah, well, thank um, you. I'll give you. I'll give you a um, <laughs> heads up, and I'll. I'll, 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 this will be a relief to you. Um, I'll be out there at the show in Belmont. Awesome. Okay. I, I'm the MC. Good. I'm glad I got a, a heads up. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> and, uh, I'll and wear my tightest muscle shirt. And I'm, not, and I'm not, and I'm not going to wear any. <laughs> no shirt. shirt. All right, no, maybe I'll go no, no shirt. No, I'll, no, I'll, off. Yeah. no, I need to wear a shirt. It just won't be a muscle shirt this time. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey, man, thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate all that you do. Um, and, and to be a fan is, is, is a privilege, but to be a friend is, yeah. uh, I think, a bigger privilege. So thank you for allowing me to do that. Well, thank you, And, man, and be, for, a, be a part of your friend. ride. Yeah, I do. I, I just appreciate you having me in the studio and, and, and support my music. And, you know, I'm lucky to have you as a friend as well. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks. Keep it up. Eric Etheridge. And again, uh, check it out. Uh, he's all over social media. Uh, EricEtheridge.com. Did I miss anything? Uh, no. We're, we're good. We're I think good? We got, I think we nailed it. Nail it. Yeah. Nail, Nail it. Nail it. <laughs> Check them out whenever you can. Eric Efferich, uh, whether it's uh, on the radio, uh, get the CD, or in concert. Hey, uh, thanks to Eric Etheridge for sitting down and uh, going through the conversations. We really enjoyed talking to that young man. And like I said, there's a lot more coming in his career. Big news, so stay tuned. And follow us on Facebook. You can find me all over Facebook. So if you've got a comment or a question, we'd love to hear from you. Again, find me on Facebook, Randy Owen with Country Conversations on Rogers TV. Hey, this is Eric Etheridge, and you're watching Rogers TV at Country 107.3. Make sure to check me out on Instagram at Eric Etheridge Music or on Facebook and Twitter at Eric Etheridge. Rogers TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media. out here at Rogers looking for something different to do. I answered the call for an audition and I got the role, I guess if you want to call it. It was a role of a lifetime and I didn't know what to expect starting to volunteer here at Rogers TV, but it has opened up a path to so many different directions.